243 years prior, Vant and Terry lay under bearskin rugs. They poked a metal rod at a pile of embers that used to be a fire. They whispered to each other. It was late. What did it feel like? Vant asked. Kind of weird. Weird how? I don't know. My dad did most of it. I just held the handle while he pushed it in. Did you feel bad? Nah, it was only a bore. Who cares, right? Van's eyes were wide, his curiosity nowhere near satisfied. A coal popped in the fire pit. They both jumped, startled. Did you feel its life go away? I guess. I felt a funny crunch when the knife hit the bone. It was gross, but it made Dad happy I did it. You're brave. I wonder if I'll be able to do that someday. And to a person, too. You better. It's your job to protect me. I know. Vant rubbed his nose. Some bodyguard I am. I haven't even killed anything yet. Don't worry. You'll kill something soon. They watched the coals. A hypnotic orange wave swam across the pebbles. They let their minds drift. Terry, do you think we'll be great warriors? We kind of have to be. I mean, I'm the son of Agmar, so that's a given. And you, you're pure blood. Your mom and dad are both primes, so you're going to be the strongest knight ever. That's what everyone is saying. Not stronger than you. My mom was a nurse, or something dumb. But both your parents can fight. The words held a tinge of envy. What do you think our first battle will be like? I hope I get to lead it. I hope so, too. I'll watch your back. You have to. You don't have a choice. I won't do it because I have to. I'll do it because we're friends. There was a commotion outside. The boys silenced themselves, covered up, and pretended to sleep. Six cloaked figures thundered into the tent. There he is, said Agmar. Wake him. And your son. Wake him as well. He should witness this. <laughs> 